How do I uh, deal with negativity? I don't. I couldn't give a damn. I couldn't care less what people think about me. It's, it's absolutely irrelevant to me. And, you know, we have this idea that when we say something about someone, that we're saying something about someone, but we're not. Every time we open our mouths, we are saying something, making a statement about ourselves. And thus, those that um, ridicule or condemn me, having not even read a book, and, and when you question them, they haven't even got a clue what I'm saying, um, th then they are, for me, making a statement about themselves, not me. Uh, the fact that they can, as most people do, construct their opinions of events and people not based on information not based on research but based on i don't know what what they base yeah. their opinions on it's, it's their i would imagine it's their own opinion i want to come back well, to but that's the point though ian and, and and this is how people can be uh, mass manipulated in terms of what they believe because you know the few can't control the many physically they can do that in a small area with, with you know, soldiers on, on, on the streets. But you cannot control a population of millions, or in global terms, billions, physically. You have to control the population by getting them to think and perceive themselves and the world and, and events in the way that suits you. It's a mind game. And if we don't break the, uh, the, the cycle by doing our own research and, and asking questions rather than getting them off the peg from the mainstream media and the tabloid newspapers, then we, we're just babes in arms, to, uh, not expressing our opinions, but just becoming a repeater of someone else's opinion. And, and in this way, those that manipulate that mass opinion control the perception and therefore the behavior of the population. And when you look at the world, um, it is are full of repeaters. I mean, look at journalists. What are they doing? They're taking the official version of events and they're repeating it um, to the population. The population read it in the newspapers and repeat it to each other. You go to school and you have repeater teachers telling the, the, the pupils uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the way that the system wants them to see the world. And all the teacher is doing is repeating what's in the curriculum. When you've got a situation like um, with my son Jamie, who was taking a course which included uh, a section in the, in the exam on global warming. It's now called climate change, as the temperatures fall, you, you'll note. Um, he made uh, the obvious point that any brain cell on active duty would, would see if they looked at the evidence, that the whole idea of climate change, human-caused climate change, is a scientific insanity. Even some of the advocates are now coming out and saying this. And um, when he said this to the teacher, um, that, that that was his opinion. The teacher said, "Well, actually, I have I have some sympathy with the fact that global warming is, is is a nonsense. But if you say that in your exam, you ain't going to pass, right? So, so we have a, a repeater education system. We have doctors that repeat what they uh, ha heard at medical school and repeat what the drug rep said when they came round to flog some more drugs. Um, wherever you look." You're looking at repeaters. And what I've been trying to do for 21 years is put other information into the uh, public arena and say, actually, there's not one way the sun, I was going to say the news of the world, but thankfully I, I don't have to say that anymore. But um, it's, um, it's trying to break this cycle of... Um, Authority gives you a version of life, you believe it, and it becomes official history. I mean, you know, at one time, because it was the norm, uh, people repeated the fact that the earth was flat and ridiculed anyone who said it was a sphere. And, and the same is going on now, daily, 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 across the great swathe of subjects. I mean, North Africa. Someone said to me, and it great? Isn't it great that Libya's free, now Gaddafi's gone? Well, if they knew the real story, then they'd realize that um, Libya has been hijacked by a force that is behind NATO, that is actually in the process, and you can read it in my books some time ago, of picking off country after country after country by stimulating um, and engineering protests with agent provocateurs 
then condemning the 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 uh, si I I sitting regime for <clears throat> you know violence against protesters and then sending the boys in they've done that in libya they're going to do that in syria they'll do it in jordan they'll do it in lebanon they'll they're they're, they're, they're going for uh, pakistan now constantly uh, bombing Pakistan with um, unmanned planes, which are actually being guided from a joystick in, near Las Vegas. Uh, it's just like a computer game to them, killing people, thousands of Pakistanis, and they want to go for Iran. <coughs> but when you see the way that what is happening in North Africa and the Middle East, portrayed in the media, uh, then people believe it, and they're looking at things happening in the world and they've got a certain view of it which is simply a view that is repeating what they've been told to believe and we have to break that cycle uh, of um, information so that we can actually see what's really going on as opposed and this is the key what we're told is going on what we're told to believe what we're told to perceive what we're told to have the opinion about and this is going on all the time you know you How see these these journalists outside Westminster on the news yeah. right they go on to that bit of green and they come out and you'll notice this um, Ian because I was in journalism for a long long time and in the 1970s there were still substantial interviews and there were still interviews of some substance of some length with the people that um, needed to be questioned the so-called representatives of the people but what happens now on the TV news the news reader who I tell you, uh, from experience of being in it, hasn't got a clue what's going on in the world. Interviewing a reporter um, outside Westminster or somewhere else in Libya, maybe, and he hasn't got a clue because all he can tell uh, the newsreader is what the authorities have told him. And they call it journalism. It's just repeating. And, and th if this cycle is not broken, how the heck are we going to know what's going on in the world as opposed to what we're told to believe is going on? You ever heard that phrase, everyone knows that, mate? Well, why does everyone know that? Well, it's because this system is controlled by what I call repeaters. They're people in the situ situations of power and influence who just repeat what someone else tells them. A doctor is repeating what they were told at medical school and what the drug companies tell them. Uh, you've got teachers who repeat what they learned in their exams and what they learned at teacher training college and they repeat that to the next generation. And the great repeaters are what pass for journalists. This is that area outside uh, Parliament where they stand there doing their pieces to camera telling people what's going on. Here we have the uh, crews waiting for the journalists to come across from Westminster and stand there and tell them what's happening in the world. The fact is they don't know what's happening. They know nothing. So this is what they should be saying if they were telling the truth. Now over to Westminster for the latest news from David Icke. Thank you, you. Well, I've got to be honest, mate, I haven't got a clue what's going on. i tell you what my job is, right? I, I wear a dark suit, not normally, but, you know, I'm playing here. Um, and I am come over from there, and I tell you what they've told me is going on. And I deliver it as if I know what's going on, and it's really true. I've got a clue if it's true. But they tell me, and they wouldn't lie, would they? I mean, would Tony Blair lie about what's really happening? Would George Bush, please? I'm a journalist, trust me. And so, what we call news you, what you get paid a lot of money for reading autocue about, is merely propaganda that they have told me and I tell you. David Icke, BBC, ITN, CNN, CBS, Sky News, Westminster. Maar volgens de Britse verkeersdienst heeft het ongeluk van gisteravond niets te maken met de verkeersveiligheid. I will not accept that it's a highly dangerous road. The road, obviously, like other roads, gives cause for concern when accidents do occur. So as soon as that work is finished, the Central Reserve safety fencing will go ahead. <laughs> Perfect example. <laughs> De Britse verkeersdienst gaat nu wel een onderzoek instellen naar de verkeersveiligheid. 